2014, a child sadly lost his life after falling from a national grid pipe bridge into a canal. In the aftermath of this tragic incident, Scottish Water began identifying pipe bridges and pipe crossings with a view to protecting public health and safety. In collaboration with our partners, we are updating our asset database and installing intervention measures where they are required Plan Scotland. We have now identified over 1,200 sites. Each site is surveyed to establish whether it meets safety standards. If not, it will progress to a design workshop where the intervention will be agreed. Although there are a large number of sites still needing to be made safe, we expect the majority to be completed by the end of 2018, with only a small number remaining to be completed early 2019. At an early stage, we recognise there are numerous benefits to this programme. We're doing our best to ensure the safety of the public, we've created a comprehensive asset database and improved maintenance policies for the future of these assets. Our approach for this required a team including Scottish Water, M Squared, Mackenzie Construction and RPS, all working in close collaboration. Logistically, managing 1,200 sites requires an innovative approach. The SharePoint platform was implemented to enable collaboration, real-time communication and reporting between all parties. This allows us to track the progress of each pipe bridge and share data between all levels of staff. Here's a look at SharePoint. As you can see, SharePoint has mapped all 1,200 sites. Team members from all regions, from project managers to site staff, can update the system. If you look at this example of a site in progress, we can click into the site, view the survey, see the proposed designs and real-time progress of works. The pipe crossing surveys record information on the condition and health and safety aspects of each crossing. The surveyors record details digitally on a data capture app on rugged tablets at site. My role included developing the app, training the surveyors and reviewing the information collected. I also recommend interventions to make the crossings health and safety compliant. As a team, we draw upon the experiences of the partners to create design templates standardising solutions pan Scotland. Each intervention is reassessed against these standards by the design group before being issued to the contractors as the scope of works. Using these designs reduces the amount of on-site fabrication and improves site efficiencies. Currently, there are multiple teams deployed across the regions. We're here on site, an example of one of the many pipe bridges that are undergoing safety improvements. Our number one goal is safety. The safety of our workforce and the safety of the public. We are making these sites safe by ensuring adequate preventative measures are in place at each pipe bridge or pipe crossing. Some of these measures include witches' hats, fencing and fans. As a Tier 1 construction partner, Mackenzie Construction have benefited from collaborating with all partners, enabling greater delivery efficiencies. Now we will show you examples of pipe bridges that require varying levels of safety measures to be introduced. So here we are at the River Urban Darvo to show you an example of how adaptable the Witches Hats can be as a design solution. Witches Hats are versatile as a preventative measure. Here you can see an example of how the Witches Hat can be mounted to not only pipes, but the various pipe bridge structures utilised pan Scotland. This allows for a variety of configurations without making major design changes to the Witches Hat. The River Karen. Having reviewed the survey and applied the Scottish Water Design template, we've agreed a suitable scope of works, so let's go have a look on site. So here we have an example of the existing measures on site. As you can see, the fencing is in poor condition and the protective measures underneath have been badly damaged. We are replacing these measures with new palisade fencing and expanded mesh panels to once again secure this asset, making it health and safety compliant. We're here at Melgham Water with one of our strategic raw water mains. On this bridge, we installed palisade fencing at either end, reinstated the access and installed a gate so that pedestrians can't access the bridge and put new handrailing in to stop anyone from falling off. Further down the same strategic raw water main, we're at Camno Burn. This is closer to the local community. The pipe is also different. As such, our installations are different. We've installed two witches hats and some handrailing with mesh insert to prevent anyone from getting onto the pipe. Here's another example of completed works in the Pipe Bridge project. We're here on site at Leaf Walk 1 in the heart of Edinburgh. Let me show you what we've installed. Rolling anticline devices. These will prevent scaling of the abutment and access onto the pipe crossing. At Pipe End 2, we installed new palisade fencing with flying fan ends to prevent direct access onto the pipe crossing. 
We're here at the River of Drakon, one of our more unusual sites. We've installed an upgraded access gate with more robust fan ends to prevent unauthorised access onto the walkway, which is predominantly for the use of site operatives only. We are confident that the works we are undertaking will reduce risks for Scottish water and members of the public. We now also have up-to-date asset intelligence of our pipe bridges, which will help us safely operate and maintain them well into the future.